racing per match -in. Well, one component you very rarely get a chance to see is the clutch in a Formula One car. And there are two very good reasons for that. One, well, the teams really don't want you to see it. And two, well, it's usually clamped between the engine and the transmission, well out of sight. But courtesy of Red Bull Racing, the clutch is exactly the component we're going to have a look at today. To help us unravel the mysteries of a modern Formula One clutch, I'm joined by John Wheatley, team manager of Red Bull Racing. John, thanks for sparing the time. What can you tell us about this clutch? It's tiny. There are seven clamping plates in here. Uh, we don't actually mount this to the engine like you do in a conventional road car. They're mounted to the gearbox. And we apply an enormous amount of pressure on these plates here in order to transfer the drive. Inertia is the enemy of a Formula One car. You want to accelerate with a minimum amount of mass. So therefore, these engines have to be hugely responsive. And my colleague, David Hobbs, is always so impressed at how fast the engines switch off once the drivers return to the pits. Well, that's almost nothing, Steve, because from 19,000 RPM, our Renault engine will stop to a standstill in 0.2 of a second. Wow, 0.2 of a second from 19,000 RPM. And the physical size of it, it's no bigger than a burger. It's unbelievably compact. So there it is, incredibly light, of course incredibly expensive, and transmitting 850 plus horsepower. The clutch of a modern Formula One car, thanks to Red Bull Racing.